Hi, boys and girls, it's Mrs. DeAngelis. I'd like to show you how to explore the Quaver Music website. Today, you're going to go on to your Chromebooks, and when you get on the internet, you're going to put in the Quaver Music website, quavermusic.com. When you get to the website, the opening page will look like this. We're going to go to this yellow button that says Student Interactives. Click there. Once you, are, once you are here, there's a place to put in a class code. There is a chart up on the board that shows you what your class code is for your class. If you are 6-1, your class code is 6FHXY, and then press Enter. From this screen, there are seven different areas that we can explore. I have two areas in particular that I want you to practice and try today. You're going to first go to Music Theory. This page has lots of games and interactive things you can play with. The first thing I want you to try is to test your ears out to hear different pitches with the Bell Challenge game. Once you open up this game, you will see that there are several different levels. Level one plays two different bell tones, and you need to put them in order from lowest to highest pitch. Once you're finished, you can check your work. Level two uses four bell tones to put in order from lowest to highest, and level three uses all eight tones. And so you will need to go through each one and try to figure out how they go. No, I don't think that's right. You'll have to work on it and figure out how they go in order. When you're finished, you can reset it or scramble them and check your work. When you're finished playing that game, exit, and keep scrolling down to the bottom of this music theory page. Down at the bottom, there are some games called Staff Champion. The one I'd like you to play is almost at the bottom and it's called Staff Champion Treble. This game enables you to practice remembering where notes go on the line spaces of the treble clef staff. Remember the idea that every good boy does fine. That was something you probably learned about in elementary school, E, G, B, D, F, for the lines. You may have also learned F, A, C, E to represent the spaces. Your job on this page is to practice naming the notes that appear. On this first screen, it's just a practice mode. You click on the name of the note and then click on the next if you'd like to try to practice in a quicker way, you can put it on game mode. Then you'll have 30 seconds to try to get the highest score possible. As soon as you press, the timer begins. It will flip to the next note each time you go through and answer correctly. And that's how that works. If you still have additional time after playing with those two games, go back to the home page, and there are other ideas you can explore. The instruments and knowledge category shows you in information about lots of different kinds of instruments. And it also has a cool game called Instrument Crane. This is a game where you can try to categorize instruments into the four categories. And you can also play this in game mode where it times you and you can see if you to beat each other with a high or lower score. So we've got brass, woodwind, string, and percussion. And once you see the um, instrument pop up, just tell it where you want it to go, and it drops it in. If you put it on game mode, if you put it on game mode, it will go through and time you as you work on that. There are many other things to explore on this page. You can go into music creation, 
movement, playing music gives you virtual xylophones. Please try some of the games in music theory first. Try out some of these things on Quaver Music website and have a lot of fun.